is closed. It's not private. It's not temporary. It's closed. Somebody went and deleted it, and it's gone. All the videos, everything. And uh, you know, a lot of people would uh, make a suggestion that maybe it was for the best. You know, maybe, maybe you know, the, the channel was already dead after the, what happened in January. Richard tried to do what he could to save it, and you know, but I think that I think he kind of. You know, kind of made it seem like the those days were always going to be around because he kept on mentioning about it in his videos every time. And I was like, I was, I was trying to suggest to him that to try to talk about something different instead of just saying making fun of me being the fearless leader and everything. But whatever. So anyway, so the Five Awesome Sons channel is no longer around. They are trying to make a new uh, sub channel called uh, the Awesome Studs or something, but I will never be a part of that. Uh, because after seeing, well, I didn't see Richard's video, but he would tell me about it. I decided that I, I don't want nothing any more association to do with those guys, because I felt like they kind of turned their back on me. Even though maybe technically I turned their back on them, on a couple of them, but then they turned once they had the power, they turned their back on me. Not Brendan, and not a couple other guys that are part of the channel, just Richard and Chris, and those guys teamed up and you know are now doing their own channel and you know but I told him I said best of luck to you it'll never be the same like it was before when I was running it I guarantee you that because half those guys you know don't know what a good video is you know now I'm not saying I make the greatest videos either but at least when I was in charge good things happen so take it any way you want but anyway so that's that I'm all done talking about the five awesome sun channel Let's go to the next location here on the Daily Summer Vlogs. They got a lot of nice stuff over here. Look around. Looks like look at some outfits. Definitely some outfits. Yeah, they got a lot of nice stuff here. Cargo shorts are there. Talking about JCPenney is they're pretty expensive, but it's kind of worth it, I think. All right. <laughs> well, I found. Well, I'll tell you guys what happened anyway. Went in there, looked around for some stuff, and they gave me a catalog, a men's catalog. I'm gonna go look through this and maybe decide, kind of, because they said all these sales are good through, well, I said to uh, July 27th. So, look around. It's got a lot of cool things in here too. I mean, just you know, men's clothes, because that's one of the things that I wanted to do this summer as well as get a, you know a bunch of clothes and all that as well I mean I, I like buying DVDs and all that but you know sometimes and, and maybe this is like that with you guys too like sometimes buying the same stuff all the time gets a little old after a while and I'm trying to mature a little bit I will always love buying DVDs on Blu-rays or whatever but sometimes there's other things out there besides that and you know that's just how it goes you know uh, if I could afford to have everything in the world, you know, yes, I would want to have the world's biggest, next to Sean C. Phillips and uh, Brandon Mitchell's uh, DVD and Blu-ray collection, I would love to have even twice as the size of that, you know, let alone, you know, my size or what I have, but uh, I'm proud of my collection, you know, I, I'm really proud of, of the you know, what I'm able to, to do and, and have, because most people around here, around northern Minnesota aren't into that stuff, and it's, it's kind of quite sad, to be honest with you. But, uh, no, there's more to life than just buying movies and all that stuff. And I, it's not because I've been told that by many different people. It's just because I know that. I knew that from the beginning. You know, a lot of people thought I was you know, just hooked on this stuff. I'm not hooked up by DVDs. I, I buy them because I like, they give me something to do. They're entertaining. And it's just something that I have a passion for. But I also like buying.